Hello my friends, my name is Sofia and today you're gonna see only my hands, hi! But I will make a video for you that is really wanted and really a lot of people ask me to do that. Today we are gonna frame the best frame I've ever used, it's Omanic frame. I found a new one for you and I'm gonna open up it with you. And first I wanted to show you in comparison that we can use a lot of different fabrics in omonic frames, but then I decided to speak about, about fabric size first. For example, this is all embroidery kit, it's about sea life, and as you see, they have a fabric quite narrow but long. And at one point, of course, it's easier to stitch it like we normally do, from left to right. But in that case, you'll have a huge frame and you'll have to put it somewhere, use your stand if you have it, or invent something if you don't. And of course, not all stitches use frames with floor stands or any other stitchery stands. Some of them just put them on a table or hold, I don't know, <laughs> normally they just um, act like, yeah, they, to be honest, they just act like they are floor stands, teacher is a stand, very often, very common. Well, as for me, my health and my back and my neck and my hands are more important than money so of course i buy all equipment that i need for my hobby but i understand that a lot of people have different situations they might live in uh, small apartments maybe they don't have a stitching room or they don't have opportunity to hide everything fast from their kids and uh, animals and husbands it's all the same danger to our hobby so uh, here is my fabric and what I wanted to tell you that in case I oops sorry in case I put it all over this I get a huge frame but I always consider uh, framing it in uh, this position just rotating it you can really make uh, your frame smaller and it really matters so it's the first uh, thing that I always decide before starting a project. And of course, um, a lot of people ask about their stitches, whether they change direction and it will be okay. Yes, it will be okay. Uh, it appears not in this direction, but this direction. Okay, it's not a big deal. Okay, that's the first thing. So every time I start a project, I always have a look at my fabric and decide in what position it's better for me to use the frame all right color is gorgeous yeah all right let's have a look now some figures all the time i have this question it's not a problem for me to explain that every time just don't hesitate write us on email you will see it in the description we are always ready to help but if you feel like choosing it on your own what should you know you just measure your fabric it's 44 so it's very easy if you have a fabric 44 you need a next 10 degree it's 50 yeah so you need a 50 frame 50 L road bar let's check is it in camera yes it is all right right here we are it's 50 Perfect. Now I'm gonna unpack it. All right. I'll put this away at first and we'll start. We need a card. Well, it's not obligatory to be the card you paid for the frame. You can use any card. And first, we check one more time. If you take 50 centimeters L rod, it should be last number 49 for your fabric. But I would recommend, especially at big sizes like one meter, 
to take a little uh, more because sometimes your fabric can stretch especially if it's not lining like here but a cotton fabric for example monica really can make a difference and a lot of stitches don't know that there are um, that at one direction fabric stretches more than in other so uh, and nobody knows in what um, direction your piece of uh, fabric was cut so it's better to take one centimeter in advance here i'm gonna frame it like this and what we do first we get out needles one and the second one all right just put them away when you are experienced for me it takes about i think five minutes to frame a fabric so it's not a big deal for me now but in the beginning and when you are doing that on video it will take time at first you would like to make a folding line like this yeah and any fabric will do that you see so after making it you can uh, insert it into your frame or you can use your card and make it like as if you are paying it one more time and now use a needle let me check if you see what i'm doing it looks like so so you insert your needle and here we are it depends on what you like to do uh, you can rotate it this direction or you can rotate it otherwise as for me i like making it this direction and i will explain you why a little bit later so you take these frames you put all right so and of course you should check that it's nice and tidy here and here is the same size and now you add one more needle here we are then you check that this line is the same and you rotate it do it next I'm gonna add some magic I just add these I can do it one more time perfect perfect eight shorts here we are we've got a frame and the and then you add some tension all right I wanted to show you that I managed to make it without even moving this so it's one of the most common mistakes is that people make tension using these uh, parts of the frame but you should make it uh, just to fix now it's a frame and it can be used if you use side stretches stop here it's just a tension it should be loose fabric then you take your side stretches and apply them all right here we are congratulations well done we are almost there I'm trying to show you that you should be aware that this difference should be equal here and here so you can add tension and now it's not it's smaller here and wider here yeah but you should always make it the same all right 
Now it's much better. All right, and final improvement, you add a bit, a bit tension. We, we are here. Yeah. All right. All right, what else can I throw here? But what I wanted to show you, it's glass, it's glass. It's really heavy and it's just, okay, I'd better stop now. So I think it's obvious that it jumps really cool. All right, here you can see how it should be framed and you can use it in any position. If you would like your fabric be closer to you, you just put it on your uh, frame holder in this position. I prefer using in this position and use this space for storing my needles, threads, scissors, whatever I need during my stitches process. So everything I'm using during um, stitching is organized at my frame. What is more, I often put here my uh, design preview for inspiration and my chart list. And I use an online program for my chart, as you can see here. And I very often, instead of paper chart, I use it. And I just put my iPad like that, and I'm ready to stitch. Here we are. All right. And uh, tension of the frame is so good that all this stuff really doesn't bother me or spoil anything so you can also use it and be well organized during your stitched stitching process and of course when you are looking into chat like having a glance from here to here not moving your head and hands to have a look yeah just move it's so fast and easy Mm, it mm, your speed grows and if you are not looking your scissors and threads and needles everything is here and of course I use needle mind as much and then can be here and here and you can use a magnet with your scissors also so you are ready to stitch and everything is here if you have any problems, you can uh, email us and we'll be happy to check. It's free and it's included into our service policy. And if you think you are fine, you can also send us a photo because sometimes I see some mistakes. What can be done? For example, you can have different dimensions here and here. It should be equal, of course. The same thing about here and here. Sometimes people try to use this stretch on this side and this stretch on this side and it really matters. What else? Mm. And uh, from time to time I'm surprised. So please don't hesitate, write me an email and if you have any more questions please write them down because I'll be happy to make a video answering your questions. I hope this video is useful for you and I'll do my best to produce you several new videos. Thank you for your attention and time. I'll be ready to see your comment and your like or dislike mark. See you!